A pilot and former U.S. Air Force intelligence officer believes an image he captured using sonar on a high-tech unmanned submersible may have finally answered one of America's most baffling mysteries. What caused the disappearance of iconic pilot Amelia Earhart at the height of her fame? Tony Romeo is one of a long line of researchers and hobbyists to have taken up the search for Earhart's distinctive Lockheed 10E Electra plane, which disappeared over the Pacific Ocean along with its famous pilot and navigator Fred Noonan during an attempt to circumnavigate the globe in July of 1937. The mystery surrounding Earhart's disappearance has long puzzled researchers and spurred conspiracy theories over the years, from the Japanese taking her prisoner to her being a government spy. But Romeo, a former real estate investor who sold commercial properties to raise the $11 million needed to begin funding the search, returned in December from a roughly 100-day voyage at sea with a sonar image that he believes shows the lost plane in the ocean's depths. His expedition, which was carried out using a $9 million high-tech unmanned submersible, Hugen, drone manufactured by the Norwegian company Kongsberg, and a research crew of 16, started last September in Tarawa, Kiribati, covering 5,200 square miles of the ocean floor, the Wall Street Journal reported. It was a dream Romeo had for years before making it a reality. This has been a story that's always intrigued me, and all the things in my life kind of collided at the right moment, Romeo, whose father and brothers are also pilots, told Business Insider. I was getting out of real estate and looking for a new project so even though I really started about 18 months ago, this was something I've been thinking and researching for a long time. Roughly a month into the trip, the team captured a sonar image of the plane-shaped object about 100 miles from Howland Island, but didn't discover the image in the submersible's data until the 90th day of the voyage, making it impractical to turn back to get a closer look. Experts have shown interest in the finding, with Dorothy Cochran, a curator at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum, telling the journal that the reported location where the image was taken was just about right, geographically, compared to where Earhart's flight is believed to have gone down. But others say they need clearer views and more details, such as the plane's serial number. Until you physically take a look at this, there's no way to say for sure what that is. Andrew Petrushka, an underwater archaeologist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, told the journal.